Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Rochelle Peart with a tropical update for the Atlantic tropics and today is May 22nd, 2021. So let's get right on into it. Take a look at the big picture. Not too much going on out there. We did have Invest 91L. We'll talk about that in just a second. We still do have subtropical storm Anna out there spinning north of Bermuda. So tropical headlines, we've got an early start to the season once again. Invest 91L, it actually moved on shore down in Texas, fizzled out, so that's no longer are going to be a concern for potentially gaining a name. The next name would be Bill uh, on the list. And also we have some updates to the 2020 tropical season, and we'll talk about those in just a second. So here's subtropical storm Anna. This is the uh, 5 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. As mentioned, it is north northeast actually of Bermuda, just about 200 miles uh, away from that island nation. Sustained winds right now at 45, 40 miles an hour, excuse me. Movement is northeast at five miles an hour and that pressure 1007 millibars. So what is a subtropical storm? It's something of a hybrid between a non-tropical uh, storm that you typically see like a cold front and a tropical system. So again, that's a hybrid because it contains characteristics of both of those types of systems and it can form over tropical and subtropical waters. Some of the strongest winds are away from the center of the storm, which is not what you would see with a tropical storm or a hurricane and it's less symmetric with the wind field versus tropical systems and we'll see some tropical systems developing as we move through the rest of the season. But for right now, we just have Anna out there. Here's the current cone. It's going to be moving toward the northeast, eventually speeding up just a bit, fizzling out as it heads towards Monday. It's going to be moving into colder uh, water and some more unfriendly territory as far as the atmosphere goes as well. Here's a look at the infrared satellite. And what we're looking at here is the temperatures at the tops of the clouds. So when you start to see some of those warmer colors and with some storms later in the season, we'll start to see black and white, those really high cloud tops, more thunderstorm activity. And you can kind of see this circulation, this counter clocks counterclockwise circulation with Anna, but it's not very symmetric when we look at some of the uh, where those higher cloud tops are where we're seeing those colors versus where we're seeing um, more of the gray shading. So just something to think about as we go through the rest of the season. Looking at water vapor, not too much moisture out there, but you do see a little bit of some dry air indicated by more of that tan brownish color and the colors that you're seeing with the blue that's indicating some more moist air. So if we had more of that, Anna would have to would be able to feed off of that and potentially uh, sustain itself, but that's not looking like it's so much the case and some of that dry air could get wrapped into the system as well. So current sea surface temperatures. Here's Bermuda right here middle of the screen. Didn't mention that before, but just a point of reference for you as we look toward the northeast of Bermuda. Here's the current location of the storm. We are going to be seeing it moving off to the uh, north and east and you do see those temperatures eventually decreasing and something else that the storms feed off of besides moist air is actually sea surface temperatures and generally we look for sea surface temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So we don't have that so Anna doesn't really have too much to sustain itself as we go through the next couple of days. So talking about preseason name storms, we have seen them over the past five years. Artha, Andrea, Alberto, Arlene, and then back in 2016, we had Alex form all the way in January. So when it comes to these preseason storms, you have to go all the way back to 2014 to find a hurricane season where the first name storm actually was named after June 1st. And that again, back in 2014, tropical storm Arthur formed not until July 1st, so a full month after the season started. So here's a look at those Atlantic hurricane names. We have Anna, then Bill, Claudette, Danny, Elsa, going all the way down the list. We'll continue to watch these through the rest of the season to see how far down the list we actually get. Now let's talk about 2020 for a bit head back. We did have some revisions to some of the storms uh, from NOAA. As we move through the last couple of months, they were looking through things and putting some uh, finishing details on it. So when we look at revisions for some of the storms, some of the strengths of the storms, Gamma and Zeta were actually revised to uh, a hurricane and a major hurricane respectively. So here are the numbers from the 2020 season with those revisions. So again, added a hurricane, added a major hurricane, still 30 named storms for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Now when we look at category five hurricane, uh, 2016 to 2019 graphics not loading I'm supposed to see all of those um Cat 5 hurricanes on this graphic here, but 2016 to 2019 was the longest stretch of consecutive years with at least one category five storm. 
Now at the end of the season, we thought that we had one with Iota, but with those revisions that came in from NOAA, the peak intensity of Hurricane Iota was actually reduced from 140 knots to 135 knots with that postseason analysis. So that means that Hurricane Iota went from being a Cat 5 to a very powerful Category 4 hurricane and with cat five you'll need those winds at 137 knots or 157 miles per hour. Now the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season officially begins in 10 days on June 1st. So of course you'll want to stick with us. We'll have updates at least once per day once things do start to pick up just a little bit more. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel here for 13 News Now. You can also find me over on Twitter at underscore Rochelle TV. Thank you so much for joining us for this video and we hope to see you as we go through the rest of the hurricane season.